Ready to decode the enigma of the real estate world with us on housing trends on Staten Island? Let me tell you something, things are getting pretty interesting. The housing market in the US is usually hot during this time of year, but it seems like it's a bit cooler than usual. Why you ask? Well, it's because of a couple of factors. Low inventory and high borrowing costs, these two things have really put a damper on the market, especially as we are in the summer home buying season. According to the National Association of Realtors, existing home sales in the country have gone up by teeny 0.2% from the previous month. However, compared to the same time last year, they're actually down by a whopping 20% 0.4%. That's a pretty big drop. It seems like fluctuating mortgage rates and super low level of inventory are really affecting home sales. Now let's talk about Staten Island specifically. New listings on Staten Island have decreased by a staggering 35.3%. That's a huge drop and pending sales are down by 4.9%. It's not looking too good, folks. Inventory levels have fallen by 35.1% and only leaving us with 1,178 available units. And prices, well, they're softened a bit. The median sale price has decreased by 4.2% to $660,000. Not a huge drop, but still worth nothing. But hey, it's not all bad news. Sellers can take some comfort in the fact that the month's supply of inventory has actually gone down by 13.4% to 3.8. So there's a bit of hope there. Now let's get into the nitty gritty. We're going to take a closer look at each region of Staten Island, the East Shore, Gateway, Greater St. George, Heartland, North Shore, South Shore, the hills and the lakes. Each of these areas has its own unique trends and understanding them can really help you make informed decisions. Whether you're buying, selling, or just investing. Watch the housing trend next for each of the geographic areas of Staten Island. I will have another video next for you. On a national level though, the total housing inventory has actually increased by 3.8% from the previous month. That's good news, right? Well, not really. The shortage of homes for sale has actually kept prices high for those who are still looking to buy. The national median sale price is currently at 396,100, which is a 3.1% decline from last year. It's actually the largest annual decrease since December of 2011. And here's something interesting. Properties are selling like hotcakes. Most homes listed for sale are actually on the market for less than a month. So if you're looking to buy, you better act fast. All right, that's all the info I have for now, but I hope this helps you understand the housing trends on Staten Island a little bit better. Remember, knowledge is power, so use this information wisely. And so we journey through the Staten Island housing market together, uncovering trends, and yet there's so much more to explore in the vast and varied landscape of Staten Island real estate. I hope this deep dive into Staten Island housing market trends has given you some invaluable insights. If you enjoyed this video, find it informative, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends and family who might also benefit from this information. And remember, we're just scratching the surface here. We have a ton more fascinating insight to share with you in our upcoming videos here. We'll dive into specific neighborhoods, highlight hidden gems, and continue revealing the complexities of Staten Island housing market. To ensure you don't miss out on our future updates, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. Remember, the more you know, the better decision you can make. So join us as we continue to decode Staten Island housing market. Until next time, stay informed and take care.